मैं और मेरा कैंसर अक्सर ये बातें करते हैं तू नहीं होता तो ऐसा होता तू नहीं होता तो वैसा होता गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी दिस इज इंदू पॉइंट फाउंडर स्टोरीज मैटर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फोकस्ड ऑन इंटीग्रेटिंग स्टोरीज इन टू रेगुलर करिकुलम एंड इनेबलिंग बेटर कॉन्वर्सेशन अराउंड मेंटल हेल्थ I believe each one of us has a story, and every story matters. So this is the reason I keep bringing great personalities with me, and one of them has agreed to be here with me today. He's none other than Ramendra Kumar. He's an award-winning writer and a performance storyteller with 47 books. His writings have been translated into 30 languages and included in several textbooks. and anthologies in various countries he has been invited to several international literary festivals held in denmark greece uae as well as indian events such as jaipur lit fest raman is an engineer and an mba he was general manager corporate communication sale when he took voluntary retirement raman is now a cancer warrior and an inspiration to many welcome raman to our stories matter Thank you, Hindu. It's a privilege to be here. Uh, it's my heartfelt gratitude to you. You've uh, agreed to, you know, be here with us. The best part about uh, where we connected is storytelling and writing. So, which is what immediately struck a chord between us. And I invited him, Absolutely. and within a day, he agreed to be with us. So, Raman, tell us about your journey of a writer and how, from a general manager. you shifted your entire career so i started writing uh, from the age of 7 uh, or 8 i wrote my first poem and it continued along with my profession i would like to talk to you about my journey as a cancer warrior before that a bit of flashback my wife madhavi and i were working in rorkela steel plant in odisha uh, for more than 3 decades then we decided that we wanted to pursue our own passions so we shifted to bangalore where my children where our children ankita and aniket were staying we shifted on 29th january 2021 until 29th november 2021 life was a blast storytelling sessions creating workshops two book releases i was having the time of my life on 29th november at 12 o'clock I was sitting in front of the endocrinologist along with my family when he read out the verdict of a biopsy and a colonoscopy it went something like this it was like he was reading from a railway timetable uh, mr ramendra kumar you have got cancer second stage colon cancer your life is going to be altered completely right from now you'll have to undergo chemotherapy and uh, multiple surgeries you'll have a colostomy bag i didn't know what the hell a colostomy bag was you'll have to undergo radiation and uh, blah 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 now after we left we went to the hospital canteen and there i just exploded i raved and ranted there was angst there was agony there was some tears i don't drink i have never smoked I'm slim and trim. I exercise regularly, walking, swimming, and I don't even take much of red meat. Then how come this scourge has slammed into me? And I and I as I just let go and you know started cursing the world and everything else in general. I found the faces of the three people I loved the most in my life simply crumple. Hindu. it was like they were seeing my death in my own eyes at that moment i decided there has to be a paradigm shift in my narrative i couldn't do this to my family for me family has always always come first so i decided to create a new narrative mendable i must say it must have been a very difficult phase of your life so 
my questions will be for our audience uh, where they generally feel whenever there is a you know shocking news first is why me what did i do wrong in indian this thing with we say kya hamare humne aise kaun se bure karm kiye the jo mujhe ye ho gaya as you rightly said ki main na main drink karu na smoke karu na main ye kiya फिर वाई मी मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों हुआ सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट शॉक ऑफ एंड एक्सेप्टिंग द फैक्ट ऑफ दिस डेडली डिजीज सो हाउ डिफिकल्ट वाज इट फॉर यू टू एक्सेप्ट इट या इट वाज डिफिकल्ट बट लेट मी टेल यू दैट आई बिलीव दैट एज अ राइटर अ स्टोरी टेलर एंड एन इंस्पिरेशनल स्पीकर माय रिस्पांस हैड टू बी डिफरेंट एंड आई हैव अ बैकग्राउंड which is riddled with uh, trauma i have survived the toughest of odds i am a suicide survivor at the age of 15 my mother eloped with a young man 20 years junior to her uh, and you can imagine in the late 70s a middle class housewife if she indulges in this kind of a sin the shit really hit the ceiling and uh, then uh, my parents divorced obviously i had to i have been fi- uh, fighting brittle diabetes i had a bout of tuberculosis and uh, i suffer from a condition called silent thyroiditis let me tell you brittle diabetes is something where the sugar swings from extreme low to extreme high on the same day so it's a deadly deadly kind of disease plus silent thyroiditis where again the levels move from minimum to max and i also suffered from a condition called hemangioma where there was a polyp growing uh, just below in the uh, vest blood vessel below the vocal cord and i was nearly losing my voice i managed all these conditions with my exclusive mantra of battling every tumor with humor so in this case too i decided this has to be my mantra yahi mera mantra rahega so over a period of 11 months 25 days i survived three septic shocks the survival rate or probability of one septic shock is only 30% so teen bar mai yamraj ke paas gaya unse haath milaya aur wapas laut kar aaya meri wife savitri aur mai satyavan i survived four major surgeries five rounds of radiation 10 cycles of chemo my hair is back again and 40 days in icu to aap samajh sakte hain ki kis daur pe daur se maine ye safar kiya hai aur how tough it must have been to, to for me but during the entire diagnosis from the pre surgery treatment to my coming out of the icu and returning home there was one thing i never lost and that was hope and optimism during uh, during my radiation when people are completely down and out they suffer from nausea weakness and all kinds of symptoms i created a dance video with my daughter ankita to the song jawan jaane man haseen dil ruba this went viral jawan jaane man haseen dil ruba mile to dil jawa nisar ho gaya shikar khud yahan shikar ho gaya ये क्या सितम हुआ ये क्या जुलम हुआ ये क्या गजब हुआ ये कैसे कब हुआ न जानू मैं न जाने वो जवान जान मन हसीन दिल रुबा मिले तो दिल जवान निसार हो गया Then I participated in panel discussions. I took the interview of Sam Pitroda. I posted some parodies. So here is a parody which I posted. I am sure it will resonate with your viewers. आपने वो parody वो गाना सुना होगा मैं और मेरी तनहाई अक्सर बातें करते हैं अमिताभ बच्चन का बहुत famous dialogue in the movie सिलसिला तो उसकी मैंने parody लिखी है मैं और मेरा cancer अक्सर ये बातें करते हैं तू नहीं होता तो ऐसा होता तू नहीं होता तो वैसा होता न तोड़ने वाला रेडिएशन न निचोड़ने वाला कीमो न सर्जरी की दहशत 
न स्कैंस की परेशानी न कल की काली स्याही न आज की हैरानी मैं और मेरा कैंसर अक्सर ये बातें करते हैं तू नहीं होता तो ऐसा होता तू नहीं होता तो वैसा होता पर कैंसर तुम न होते तो मैं हंसता नहीं इतना हर पल को गले लगाकर मैं जीता नहीं इतना रिश्तों की भी शायद सही पहचान नहीं होती मेरे दिल में सदा खिलती ये मुस्कान नहीं होती यू हालतों से लड़ने की हिम्मत नहीं होती अपनों को हिम्मत देने की ये ताकत नहीं होती अपनों को हिम्मत देने की ये ताकत नहीं होती कैंसर तुमने मुझको खुद से मिला दिया विश्व में घोर कर ही सही अमृत पिला दिया कैंसर तुमने मुझको खुद से मिला दिया विश्व में खोल कर ही सही जैसे अमृत पिला दिया तुम न होते तो मैं ऐसा नहीं रहता सांसें तो चलती रहती पर जिंदा नहीं रहता मैं यूं ही पड़ा रहता जिंदगी भी पड़ी रहती जिंदगी लंबी तो होती पर बड़ी नहीं रहती जिंदगी लंबी तो होती पर बड़ी नहीं रहती Too oh, good, too good. I have goosebumps, and my heart goes out to you and your family. This, this must because I can truly relate. And uh, as I told you, my mother is suffering from AML leukemia, and it's uh, seventh months, seven months, and uh, we have been undergoing. And I have been closely observing her, sitting with her through her chemo's and her blood transfusions. and uh, it's not only the patient who is undergoing so much i'm sure it's the entire family so you mentioned that your uh, wife was there with you your kids were there so who all were supporting you and i in apne apni parody mein actually sab bol diya ki sabki pehchan ho jati hai in dino mein aapko pata chal jata hai aapke dost आपका इनर सर्कल आपका सपोर्ट सिस्टम ये एक ऐसा टाइम है जिसमें हर किसी की वो कहते हैं ना अंदर तक पहचान होती है कौन आपके साथ उस समय खड़ा है सो विल यू लाइक टू एलेबोरेट ऑन दिस लिटिल मोर अबाउट योर सपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड हाउ डिफिकल्ट वाज दैट फेज ऑफ अंडर गोइंग योर ट्रीटमेंट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट जस्ट फिजिकल आई एम श्योर इट्स इमोशनल इट्स फाइनेंशियल एवरी इज इट्स ड्रेनिंग this disease is you know um, it drains you in a multiple manner you are so right this is one disease where the treatment is sometimes worse than the cure so let me bring you bring you to 16th april ankita had who is a travel influencer had gone to mexico on one of her assignments and when she came back uh, that day itself i suffered from my first septic shock So when she came to meet me, I was in the ICU, and the doctors had given up on me. They had said, "Ab jaake mil sakte hain, lekin umid bahut kam hai." So Madhvi, Ankita, and Aniket entered the ICU, and Ankita looked at me, and something I do not know what that connect was. Usne apna hath mere maathe pe rakha, and she started talking to me. Papa, you can't go away like this. You can't do this to us. We've got so many followers and fans and friends, and we are all there with you. cheering you up and you used to always say it is the mind over the body and this is the right time to prove it you have always been a fighter you have survived the toughest of odds with your weapons of resilience and optimism and hope and now you have to do it once again you can't just go away like this everybody loves you and i love you the most my bp had dropped down to 55 because of which the septic shock had happened as people as she started talking you will not believe it was straight from a hindi movie of the 1970s you know amitabh bachchan's mother sai baba's jyoti enters her eyes and she starts beginning to see and here the hero the protagonist ramendra kumar is lying on the bed his family around is around hoping and praying for a miracle in movies it always happens but in the this was real life not real life and yet would you believe it the bp started climbing bit by bit by bit and as it climbed up uh, madhavi and aniket joined the chair leader and when the bp rose to 124 the doctors came in so there was some connect some energy which was created between Ankita and I, 
which made me fine because i don't remember anything my body was blue i was on a ventilator i have no idea but there was some surreal some magical some energy or some connect i don't even know what name to give it when i asked my psychiatric friend who's retired from nimhans he told me that there are many things which cannot be explained by science and faith is one of them so you and your daughter had that magical energy which brought you back to life and even after that during the entire period madhvi and aniket had put their lives on hold they were living my trauma with me aniket had just joined a job but he stopped working he was around his papa and one more thing they never gave up they never lost hope in the icu i was going through what is called uh, icu psychosis i was delusional i was staring at my clothes staring at my cannula i was talking gibberish the premise was perfect the logic was ridiculous but through it all they never even once let me be aware that i was walking through hell and back again a number of times i can i can connect with you at every step because we've been doing exactly the same and uh, believe me i think it's not only people around you even the patient himself or herself is positivity also matters like when you inside as a positive person you want to fight back and you don't give up on life so easily that i am going to be a fighter you know i'm going to fight it out that also helps plus the energy transfer of energy plus faith so do, do you believe that prayers and good wishes and people they all matter like i kehte hai na dua dawa se zyada kai bar duaye kaam karti hai do you believe aapne bilkul theek kaha bilkul theek kaha kyunki main mere maine facebook pe insta pe whatsapp pe sab kuch share kiya and the response of my friends both online and offline was tremendous like the indian cancer society invited me uh, and made me their uh, what should i say brand their brand ambassador. ambassador for a social media campaign my uh, radiation oncologist shared my video and called my my, my fight inspirational there was a complete stranger who wrote on insta that his dad was suffering from some issue with the arteries and he couldn't get up but when he saw my dance video he actually got up and started walking now tell me how inspirational is that yeah. a friend whose wife was suffering from cancer he said ramen agar meri wife ko aap jit aapka 5% uh, positivity bhi rehti to aaj wo mere bagal mein rehti she passed away because she lost hope there was a cancer wa- uh, warrior i mean a cancer specialist who says ramen we need warriors like you who make people believe that cancer is a word it is not a sentence pun intended there was the director of uh, indian institute of mass communications who wrote a column on my fight in two major newspapers i have been called a messiah and inspiration a friend called me ramen sher khan to maine kaha yaar ghar mein to bhigi billi hu par tum mujhe sher khan bol rahe ho another right of friend said that i am like rafal nadal who uh, fought the injury in his abdomen and continued fighting uh, uh, playing tennis in one of the key matches in uh, wimbledon uh, prakriti varshne she is the first vegan indian vegan to climb mount everest when she reached the peak <clears throat> she thought of god and of her mother and father and then she prayed for me in temples in gurudwaras in masjids from lahore to assam to lucknow people were doing fasting they were sending me incantations mantras and chants and this was my greatest weapon uh, against my battle with cancer now tell me when i have this kind of an ecosystem is it possible for any damn cancer to harm me or to touch me also yes this is this is really you know how that vibration gets created around you like i sit with my mother parents both are critically ill and i give them this visualization i take my when she is undergoing blood transfusion i tell her you are in your kitchen you are in your puja room i kind of take her to her home you know and this is how it helps it really helps and visualization and my maintaining 
पॉजिटिविटी दुआएं दवा तो खानी ही पड़ेगी वो तो इलाज तो करना ही पड़ता है बट कीप मेंटेनिंग दैट आई थिंक होप एंड कीप फाइटिंग दैट्स द ओनली वे सो आपका हमारे व्यूअर्स के लिए एक क्या मैसेज है हाउ शुड दे टेक इट एंड वट आर द मैसेजेस लाइक द मैसेज दैट दे शुड कैरी विद इन दैम वेन एनीबडी हु इज हैविंग एनी टफ टाइम नीड नॉट बी ओनली कैंसर इट कैन बी एनी other disease which is again life threatening or which is very demotivating for the family and for the person what is it that one thing that they should always keep in mind i would like to share a couple of things and these i would say are coping mechanisms for any adversity chahe wo koi bhi pareshani ho divorce ho kisi ka intikal ho kuch bhi ho these are some of the things which have worked for me in my journey and i'm sure they'll work for everybody first and foremost is believe in humor don't take yourself too seriously whether it's your bum on the boil or a boil on your bum try to see the sublime or rather try to see the ridiculous in the sublime jab main is daur se guzar raha tha to ek sajjan hai ek doctor unhone mujhse kaha ki ramen tumne har jagah apni baatein keh di sab kuch sare zamane se share kiya par ab tumhe antarmukhi hona chahiye you start looking inwards so i told him boss for the last 5 months i feel half of bangalore is staring into my rectum how much more in antarmukhi should i get aur mai kitna antarmukhi hu boss kuch to mujhe mujh par ram karo acha mere ek relative hai bahut hi nazdeek ke aur mere se kuch 10 saal bade hain so he believes in gravity while i believe in levity so i strongly have the notion that had he been at the time of isaac newton he would have discovered gravity without the help of the apple he is such a serious person he laughs only once a month when the day when he gets his salary and he keeps making fun of me that you are you know like a child you jump around you sing i'm a terrible singer and a terrific dancer and you do all these things nobody will take you seriously so when i was going through all this he wrote uh, to my wife madhavi and he said that ramin kya kar raha hai wo cancer ko ek khel samajh raha hai ye kya khilwad hai he is flirting with death usko pata nahi hai वो टुकड़ों में कट के मरेगा oh. उसको बोलो सीरियस रहे एंड देन आई टोल्ड माय वाइफ यू टेल हिम यू टेल माय रिलेटिव दैट आई विल नॉट अलाउ एनी कलोन टू पुट अ फुल स्टॉप अ कलोन अ पीरियड और इवन अ सेमी कलोन टू माय क्रिएटिविटी एंड ह्यूमर टेल हिम दैट दिस इज द ईयर ऑफ द कमेडियन लास्ट ईयर जेलेंसकी इन यूक्रेन भगवंत मान इन पंजाब एंड रविंद्र कुमार इन बैंगलोर ऑल्सो टेल हिम कि मेरे मैं आपके व्यूज के साथ शेयर करना चाहता हूं कि मेरे दो फिलोसफर रहे हैं 1975 में गब्बर सिंह जिसने कहा था जो मर गया जो डर गया डर गया जो मर गया जो डर गया सो मर गया और आ, 2022 में पुष्पा मैं झुकेगा नहीं तो और एक आ, बात मैं बोलना चाहता हूं कि आई वॉन्ट एवरीबडी to create a system an ecosystem of positivity agar aap ye ecosystem create karte hain main nahi bolunga bolunga ki ye ecosystem maine create kiya isliye main 104 4 saal tak zinda rahunga but every moment that i live will be more full enriching and full of life and more fulfilling so uh, please create an ecosystem of positivity and the entire universe will get together to offer you sucker solace and strength wonderful wonderful it's truly inspiring i'm sure it's going to really help our viewers get motivated not only get motivated but they should start get up dance and sing till you can and i think till your last breath even uh, otherwise jaise aapne wo apne relative ki baat ki hai ki kuch log life ko itni seriously lete hain ki bhai आज आसमान गिरेगा और पता नहीं क्या होगा सो वाइल गोइंग थ्रू दिस जर्नी आई रियलाइज एक्चुअली लाइफ ही वहां होती है दैट्स व्हेन यू स्टार्ट वैल्यूइंग लाइफ एवरी मिनट गेट्स सडनली बिकम सो प्रेशियस मेरे पिताजी कहते थे जिंदगी जिंदा दिली का नाम है मुर्दे भी क्या खाक जिया करते हैं बिल्कुल तो चलिए आई थिंक यहीं पे आप एनीथिंग एल्स यू विश टू से नो I I think I've said it all. 
आई बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद रविंद्र बिकॉज एक मुलाकात में बात पूरी नहीं होगी इज अ स्टोरी टेलर एंड स्टोरी मैटर पे अगर जब तक स्टोरी नहीं बताई तो मजा नहीं आएगा सो स्टे ट्यून विद अस फॉर आर नेक्स्ट टू एटलीस्ट एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू हैव विद हिम Till then, goodbye. Thank you, Ramendra. Thanks a lot for joining me. It's indeed an honor to me. Thank you.